Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. This is part four <clears throat> of this huge, crazy, big unboxing. And um, I've, I've finished the big box. So the big box, this will, once I show all these, <clears throat> then the big box will be empty. So that's halfway. I consider this halfway point of uh, this, you know, series of videos where I'm showing this massive unboxing. So in this series, uh, in this episode, I'm going to show you some pretty great books, actually. Still, lots of great stuff. Every <laughs> every video pretty much has great stuff. I, I recommend check out parts one, two, and three. Amazing stuff in there. Um, but this video will have even more great stuff. So the first book in the the one that I received was this. I this one was a nuisance, <laughs> a real nuisance trying to to unbox. It was just it was wrapped. It had this crazy tape on it that if you touch the tape, it rips apart the the whole uh, plastic covering. So it just yeah. So I I ripped trying to get it out. I totally ripped the bag. So I got to rebag this. Um, but this is Chroma, and uh, this was recommended by um, Collecto6, uh, who is a friend of mine on Instagram. And he basically recommended this book because it is um, a collection of uh, Alex Schomburg art. And it basically gets into Alex Schomburg's story. So it's um, Chroma, the art of Alex Schomburg. Um, and it's just a, you know, it's, I actually read this online. It's quite good. Um, it shows a lot of his artwork. It explains a little bit of his story. It's quite good. If you're an Alex Schomburg fan, definitely a book to pick up. Okay. <clears throat> Next is one that I actually took out of the plastic just because I have to show it. Um, this is Amazing Heroes Swimsuit Special. Okay. From 1992. Um, this is a really major key that is totally under the radar. Most people don't realize how major of a key this book is. And this is one I actually think if you're a speculator or if you're somebody who's a bit nostalgic like I am, uh, this is definitely a book you will want to have in your collection. So, um, you know, I was an 80s child, but I, you know, I watched a lot of like, uh, 90s cartoons as well um, and one of the ones that I watched was Ren and Stimpy not the best not necessarily the best cartoon ever but it had its moments um, Ren and Stimpy uh, everyone knows their comic because it's stinky it's a very stinky comic <laughs> it's a um, it has like air defouler included in every uh, issue of Ren and Stimpy number one but this book predates Ren and Stimpy number one, and it has... So everyone thinks of Ren and Stimpy number one as being their first appearance, but it isn't. It is this book who it has the first appearance of Ren and Stimpy, and I gotta kind of find it here for you. And this actually has a lot of stuff. I was surprised how many different artists and um, different characters are in this, like... Um, there's, uh, Vampirella, She-Hulk, um, just a whole bunch of characters in this. Um, and, um, they even had a Naughty Bits in this. I was, uh, I was shocked. Calvin and Hobbes, uh, but they have Ren and Stimpy. This is, well, I, and they have Madman. Get that Madman thing there. And I gotta find it. But Ren and Stimpy is in here. I, I was flipping through and I saw it. I think it's soon. I gotta show it because you won't believe me until I show it. <laughs> but this is it's really cool that it made their it's this is their first appearance. And of course it's impossible to find. Whenever you want to find something. It's, it's all, I should have, I should have uh, put a little piece of paper or something in between just to show where it is. But, uh, yeah, Ren and Stimpy's in here. <laughs> I saw it just a little while ago. I believe this is it. One sec here. 
They even have um, Phantom Lady. <laughs> Uh, I saw Ren and Stimpy. One sec here. Where is Ren and Stimpy? It's really hard to find because there's just so much in this book. It's actually so packed with uh, different characters. They have Lady Death. Um... I don't know who these guys are. This is an interesting one, like really big boobed girls. <laughs> I don't know what that one is, but it's interesting. Oh, uh, Split Tail Detective Agency. That's interesting. Well, may I might have to check that comic out. Okay, um, one sec. Really hard to find, just so much. It's just so jam-packed. It even has like um, Yasagi Ojimbo. Isn't that amazing? Like, just so much in this comic. But as I said, if I can find it, it has the first appearance of Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, here it is here. Ren and Stimpy. And I believe it's actually two pages with Ren and Stimpy. Got more Ren and Stimpy here. Isn't that cool? Hopefully that was worth the wait, <laughs> me flipping through this comic to try to find it. Um, and it's actually in really good shape, so I was quite happy. Um, so that's a really rare uh, book. Um, and that's uh, Amazing Heroes Swimsuit Special from 1992. I believe it's issue number six, if I'm correct. Um, right number. Okay, uh, and then some other ones. I had to unbox a lot of these. I, I tried to make this a bit quicker because... Sometimes I'm like fiddling through all the, you know, all the paper and stuff. And it's really, it's a slow process. But I figured I'd, I'd do a bit of the unboxing and uh, make it a little bit quicker. Um, this next one is a really great uh, Golden Age book. Uh, it's a pulp book. And it's really rare. It's one of those ones that you don't see very often. And um, it's one that just happens to feature a character that I really like. It's Spicy Detective uh, Stories. And this is from 19... I believe this is a 1942 one. And these pulps are always hard to get in any good grade. But this one just had a really great cover. And it is uh, a Sally the Sleuth story is inside. I, I'm a big fan of Sally the Sleuth. So um, this is Spicy Detective Stories. Um, spicy Detective Stories, not meant for kids, <laughs> but they, they ran from the early 30s all the way into the 50s. And just had sort of adult tales. Um, another collection that I got was, and I, I, I was looking at this one for a while, I put, this is a trick that you can do. Um, sometimes, like, if you're interested in something, you know, you, you put it on your watch list on eBay. But maybe the price isn't quite what you want to pay. <laughs> so sometimes you can write to the, the owner of that listing and say, hey, do you want to have, you know, offer a better deal? Um, and sometimes, sometimes just watching it, they will do what's called a best offer. They'll offer you a discount and you'll get flagged, get a notification. So this set was like 20 bucks. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to pay 20 bucks for it. Because I had a few of the issues from it already. Um, and, uh, you know, I kind of wanted to... Uh, I didn't want to spend 20 bucks. So <laughs> uh, I just sort of left it on my watch list. Um, and then they came back with like 10 or 14. It was like, it was like much cheaper. Uh, so I was like, oh, sure, why not? You know, <laughs> it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, so it's this Dawn collection. So this is Darkness... Um, Blood vows, and it's just these. It's a, just a collection of dawn books. So dawn, um, cry for dawn, and this is darkness. Blood vows. The second one, and some more, and then we got exotica. One sec here. One sec. Just exotica. So these are just just a collection of dawn books. I thought it was for the price. Hey, why not? I already had this one. This is uh, Genesis Dawn. 
Genesis edition, I should say. This was, I think this is like a giveaway from Wizard. And we got Dawn. The 10th anniversary special. So I thought, I don't know, for, for like 10 to 14 bucks. Hey, why not? Okay. Okay, um, now we get into a slab. See, this is what, this is how they came. A lot of the books were like all wrapped up like this. So I didn't want you to watch me like struggling with all the bubble wrap and stuff. And uh, you can see why. <laughs> it's just, it's, I'm getting pretty good at actually getting these things out pretty quick. But um, yeah, it is still a struggle sometimes getting these books out. So uh, yeah. Oh, you can see me kind of struggling to get the book out. But this is a nice little slab, I think. We'll find out what is inside. Okay, okay. So I, um, I collect Amazing Spider-Man. It was actually one of the series that, in terms of getting all the major keys that I wanted, um, I was pretty quick about getting all of them. So I got my Amazing Fantasy uh, 15. I got... The, you know, Spider-Man number one, number two, blah, blah, you know, all the different key issues. Um, there was a few that I was missing, though. A few, like, kind of minor keys that I kind of wanted to get. And this is one of them. And it's not, like, this is not a huge book or anything, but it's kind of a cool one. And I got it for a great price. It, it, the price on this has really dropped. Um, I think I got it half of fair, of fair market value. Um... So yeah, this is um, Amazing Spider-Man 315. And believe it or not, this, though, you know, a lot of people go for 316, which is the book after it. Um, this is actually a more, this is the first appearance, cover appearance of Venom. So this is Venom right here. So two, uh, 316 is the better cover, <laughs> way better cover. Um, actually, oh, I have it. I, do I have it handy? Uh, I actually can show you 316, but it's a better cover. Let me just see. Oh, yeah. uh, okay, so I had it handy. <laughs> uh, here's 316. Way better cover, like with Venom, right? So you got ben Venom, and he's kind of all over Spider-Man. Um, but this one is truly, if you're going by the floating head, <laughs> this is the first cover appearance of Venom. So this is Amazing Spider-Man number uh, 315. And it's um, Todd McFarland did the art. And uh, it's uh, also got Hydro Man on it. That's who the guy is there. Okay, next is some Golden Age stuff. So um, there was a really great auction that uh, I, I mentioned in a pre the previous video. So I recommend you watch part three <laughs> because uh, part three had uh, this really great, just a, a vendor that just had this amazing collection of golden age stuff. And um, I think a lot of people didn't notice this collection. So there was bids, but I, I think I, I got some nice little steals. Um, so both of these, I think I paid $100 for the set. Um, maybe a little bit more. Um, this is Fight Comics number 63. I believe, yes, 363. It's a really great cover. I think it's like a... Yeah, I think that's a Maurice Whitman cover. I think so. I'm not 100% sure. But. And then, this is definitely a Maurice Whitman cover. This is a Ghost Comics um, number eight. Now this is a low grade. I, I have to say this is a low grade. Is this number eight or number three? My vision is terrible. Yeah, I believe it's number eight. Um, but it's you know it's it's a it's a maybe a one or a one point five because it's missing big chunk, a <laughs> big chunk of the cover. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't impact the the art because I really like this good girl art. Um, but this is Ghost Comics number eight. And it's just a really great cover. I might upgrade this one later because I, I really don't like the fact that it's missing a big chunk. But it was very affordable. <laughs> uh, normally, this is a pretty pricey book. Uh, but as I said, I think I paid $100 for the set. And so that's a pretty good price for this book. Even, 
even in the, like a one, it's probably like a few hundred dollar book. So just so you know. Um, next uh, is kind of an interesting one. Uh, I collect uh, Draculinda, uh, Draculina, and this is an ash can where they would basically send this out to retailers to encourage them to buy Draculina. Uh, and um, I didn't get it. I never bought it from my retailer. He didn't have one. So I just figured, hey, you know, it was $2. <laughs> I figured, why not pick it up? It's kind of cool. Um, and then we got a really great, um, I, I collect Adam Hughes covers. And uh, I thought this cover was really great. This was sort of a hot book for a little while. This is um, Deathstroke Inc. number one, the variant with Adam Hughes cover. And it's just a really great, sexy black canary cover. And I like getting, like, when the, I get these, I like getting them in a 9 8 if you're going to get it slabbed and get that modern grail or modern comic, I should say. Uh, you might as well get the 9 8. So I thought that was quite nice. So that's the Adam Hughes variant. And then we got still a lot more. <laughs> still a lot more. I have no idea what this is. We'll find out together. Oh, okay. Um, in my previous video, I showed some more um, homages to this. Um, this is Animaniacs. And this is um, an homage to Pulp Fiction. So I've been collecting all these homage covers and I've been collecting, uh, I, I sort of try to, I was theming it out where I was buying a bunch of Pulp Fiction related uh, homage covers. I got Department of Truth and um, Stabity Bunny, <laughs> you know, and, you know, this one, you know, uh, Animaniacs. So I thought this was kind of cute. Okay, so, and then... I'm a, b a bit upset about this one because it's not what the, the vendor had said. Um, uh, one of my um, uh, subscribers, and actually somebody I might be partnering up with, uh, Brian Combe, uh, he basically mentioned, hey, there's a really great series that you should check out. And he knows that I like the kind of sexy stuff. Um, and he mentioned this series called Sex Criminals. And it's by Chip Zdarsky and um, what's his name, uh, Matt Fraction. And um, it was a really good series. I enjoyed it. I, so it's I think it's like thirty in the series, and the issue number thirty they 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 name it number sixty nine. <laughs> uh, but basically, it's it's a series about um, these people who, when they have their orgasm, they stop time, and they use that to basically commit crimes. Uh, not, they're not really serious criminals, but you know, it's, it's, it's very humorous. Um, you know, it, it's kind of a cool series. So what happened was I, I saw somebody had issues one through 11 on eBay. I thought, Oh, I'll pick up like the first half of the set of books. And, um, so they had, this is number one and they said it's all first prints. So one through 11, all first prints. So we got one, number two, and what does it say right there? It says fourth printing. I don't like that. So fourth printing. So number two, no number three, no number four, number five, no number six, and then number seven, number eight, Number eight, number nine, no number 10, and number 11. So half the books are missing. <laughs> so I'm like, really? And one's not even a first print. So I'm a little bit upset about that. It's not quite what I uh, <laughs> wanted. So I'm going to write to the, the vendor and see if I can get a refund. Um, but yeah uh, this one is kind of interesting i I'm, I'm kind of upset about this one actually okay so uh, a recent comic that came out i believe a few weeks ago 
now. By the time you watch this, it'll be a few weeks ago. Um, it was Nubia. Uh, and it was like the Coronation or something. I think that's the name of the title. Uh, and basically, there was, a there was a variant that you had, to, like the retail shop, in order to get the variant, they had to order 250 copies of that variant. Well, no shop will do that. But there are some big shops that do do that. So, um, and one of them is um, uh, Midtown Comics. They're, they're huge, right? So they ordered this variant cover. And the variant cover in the, you know, you know, you can sort of see the previews and you can see, hey, this is a really cool cover. Um, well, in the preview, it shows her with these, like, it shows her on the throne. She's kind of looking regal and she's wearing, like, sneakers. So I'm like, oh, that looks kind of cool. Like, it's a really great image. And so I was like, okay, I can't get it through my retailer. I'll try to get it through um, eBay or some kind of way. Uh, Midtown Comics had it. So I was like, okay, I'll order it from them. Um, so I got it. And there's no shoes. <laughs> the whole reason I liked it was the sneakers. And it, like, this is not the image that I thought it was going to be. Now, I could have gotten this from my comic shop for half the price. So I was very upset that the shoes are not, the sneakers are not part of the image. Even though in the photo that Midtown Comics shows, it shows like a bit, like zoomed out a bit more. And you can see the sneakers. So I was, so two disappointments in a row. This is kind of sad, but that was the first one there. Um, now some really cool stuff. I had unbagged these already. So, um, but there are a lot of really great books here. Okay. First, and you'll you'll probably think I'm really weird, but this one I really like. Um, this is My Little Pony. This is the variant cover for number one. This is the very first appearance of My Little Pony in comics. Uh, Friendship is Magic, number one. And this is the one where you can get it signed. There's like a little signature box. And it has all the ponies on the cover. So it's signed by either the artist or the writer. Um, I just thought it was really cool. Uh, it was very affordable. I think it was like eight bucks um, shipped. <laughs> so really cheap. Um, and, you know, I like, I like, I like, like, My Little Pony is actually a pretty good show. I would watch it with my kids. I'm very nostalgic towards it. So, um, yeah, My Little Pony. Um, and then this one is really cool. Um, I collect Bizarro. Uh, and I like collecting all the different di Bizarros, <laughs> like, you know, Bizarro Batman, Bizarro Joker, Bizarro Wonder Woman, Bizarro Lois Lane, Bizarro whatever. You know, there's like so many Bizarros. But this one I thought was really cool. This is the first appearance of Bizarro Crypto. <laughs> so this is Superboy number 82. So I just think that's really cool. Bizarro Crypto. Isn't that cool? So yeah, the first appearance of Zero Crypto, Superboy eighty two. Okay, and another kind of a cool. I think this is Silver Age. This is a little Archie mystery. I like I like these little Archie books, and this is little Archie mystery number one. So I guess a spin off from the little Archie series. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I saw this on um. Uh, what's his name? Dave's channel. Uh, David's channel. <laughs> he always gets mad at me for saying Dave. Uh, David's channel. Uh, comic book investments. He he had a copy of this like in a, a higher grade. I so I I figured hey I don't want to spend a few hundred dollars on it. I'll check on eBay, and I got a raw copy for ten bucks. So I, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, and then black box silver and bronze. He recommended this series, Satellite Sam. So I ended up picking up one through whatever it is. I think it's one through 12 or whatever the series ran to uh, on my comic shop. And then they didn't have one of the comics. So this was the one that was missing. This is, um, again, Matt Fraction again. This is issue number 12. So I just, they're all kind of these sexy lingerie covers. I have no idea what the series is about. I haven't read it yet. Oh, actually, I did. Wait, I read the I read the first uh, couple of issues. To tell you the truth, 
and it's sort of about um yeah uh it's like television kind of weird thing going on um it's kind of a weird story <laughs> so interesting but okay so yeah so um uh yeah so issue number 12 and then we get this is so in these unboxing videos i i, I show random stuff from the modern age golden age and sometimes I show some really big books. And what I'm about to show you is a really rare big book. Um, and it's one that most people wouldn't know. It's not like, um, it's, it's, it's one that only certain collectors would know. And I'll show it to you. And it's in really good grade, actually. Okay, it's this one. Diary Loves, number 30, uh, 31. And this was a book that was mentioned in The Seduction of the Innocent. Um, it's actually mentioned because of this cover. Um, because what happened is, in the story, she's basically stolen the dress. So it teaches girls how to steal. And um, Wortham, who wrote The Seduction of the Innocent, uh, he didn't like comics basically teaching kids how to become criminals. He thought that that was corrupting the youth. And his book, The Seduction of the Innocent, led to the end of the Golden Age. So this was one of the books that was kind of instrumental into in ending the Golden Age of comics. So a very uh, rare book. Uh, there's like less than, I think, less than 30 of these on the census. Uh, it's a very rare book. And this one is in high grade. It's like a 5.5. Five. That sounds low, but it's actually reasonably high grade for this, uh, for this comic. This is from 1949. So really great book. Uh, it's one of the last few that I need. I, I think I eat, need eight more to complete the collection of Seduction of Innocent. Okay. And now we get into some more. There's still a lot more. <laughs> it's going to be a, There's still a lot more to go. Okay. But we'll try to get these through these quickly. Okay. So I bought... I was talking to a friend and we were talking about Batman. And uh, he mentioned a character, Egghead. I was like, oh, wonder what, like Egghead from the the TV series uh, from the '60s, and it was Egghead was played by Vincent Price, I believe. And I was curious, where when did uh, Egghead make an appearance in the comics? And actually, strangely, Egghead did not make an appearance until much much later. Um, he made an appearance in, I believe. One sec here, I gotta find it. Okay, it's in one of these books, though. Okay, <laughs> uh, so this is, it made his appearance in this series. This is Shadow of the Bat. Uh, this is number one. I'll show you the whole series. This actually has a first appearance as well. I'm, I'm trying to remember what it is. Um, and then we got number two. And number three, which has got the first appearance of Egghead. <laughs> okay. And number four. So if you like Batman, these are kind of cool. This is a, uh, like DC books are so cheap. <laughs> like I, I, I'm going to tell you how much I paid for this whole set and you'll laugh because it has two first appearances uh, at least. And then number, number eight. Yeah. Number eight and number nine. So to buy the whole set was 10 bucks. <laughs> so I thought not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. So I, why not? Ten bucks shipped. <laughs> so that's pretty great. Okay, next one. Um, this is a, a reprint of uh, those. I showed the Spicy Detective earlier. Well, this is a reprint, but it has that really great skull cover. So this is Spicy Detective Stories. It's just like a modern reprint. Um, and it's like, uh, and this is actually the reprint of the reprint. This is like a second printing of uh, the Spicy Detective Stories from 19, uh, oh, sorry, 1989. So kind of cool. Um, again, I like it for the character Sally the Sleuth, just a character that I enjoy. Um, and got some slabs still. We got a couple more things and then we'll be finished this part. But this one, what is this? 
It actually says, oh, this is kind of cool. This is some more golden age. Let's see if we can get out without dropping it. <laughs> okay. Again, I got this all from the same guy, actually. There was um, a guy who just had a lot of golden age, and um, I kept on winning his auctions and getting really good prices on this. So this one was a total of um, two hundred dollars for these two books, which is, you know, pretty good for what these books are. They're they're quite they're quite good. Okay, I'm just... So this is a uh, Brenda Star number eight. Okay, I've been collecting Brenda Star. Um, and then we got Brenda Star number, what is this, number 11. These are like from the 40s. They're kind of nice little series. Um, like I have number one. I have a few of the issues from Brenda Star. So those were kind of cool. Um, and this one is like, like very strangely wrapped. <laughs> it's not hard to get into. If I can open it. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if I can. Uh. Okay. So I managed to get through that. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Okay. So this is Adventure Comics number. 292 and i believe if i'm trying to I, I i forgot who it is um i'm trying to remember who made their first appearance in this it's a bizarro character um uh i would have to check <laughs> but this has got a first appearance of another bizarro character i've been collecting all these bizarro characters and i just was missing a couple uh, so this is another Bizarro one. I think it's Bizarro Lois Lane or Blur Bizarro. One of those kind of characters. Um, I might be wrong on that, but I, I'm trying to remember the name of the character that um, made their Bizarro first appearance in this. But it is a key. Uh, and that was, um, sorry, I should say, that was a Adventure Comics 292. Okay. Now we've got two slabs and then we'll be done. Okay, I think that was it. And oh wow, okay. So this one is just a like um Bloop. Okay, so a shout out to Bloop's channel is another guy. Uh we were kind of like we our channels are sort of growing at the same rate <laughs> like uh he was way ahead of me for a little while then i caught up you know it's like we're our two channels have been sort of hovering around the same amount uh i think we both got to a thousand at the same point so it's kind of interesting so i kind of been watching his channel he watches my channel sometimes um i recommend you check him out he's a young guy uh, and he's doing some really great stuff. He he talks a lot about specs and he likes to find these kind of cool dollar bin stuff. But he was also talking about some of his favorite covers. And he was talking about Alex Ross as an artist and some of his favorite Alex Ross covers. And he showed this one. And I thought, man, this is a really great cover. Really great. I really love this cover. And this is Fantastic Four, number one um the alex ross val uh, variant and it's just kind of interesting because it kind of shows the whole origin story for uh the fantastic four all in one cover image so you got them you know in their astronaut format and then you got them in their superhero format so this is kind of that origin story um and this book Again, I, I got this really lucky. Um, I, it was $100, uh, which just sounds like a lot. But uh, if you look, this book is a ghost. It is really hard to find. It usually goes for about $400. So 
so uh, in a 9.8. Uh, so just a really great book. I was super excited to win the auction. I didn't think I was going to win. I thought somebody was going to bid me up at the last second. Um, but I managed to win it. So um, Fantastic Four, number one. And this is from 2014. Uh, Alex Ross variant cover. And then we got Last Lab. Oh, this is a cool one. This <laughs> Okay, so we're going to end on a great, fun note. Uh, see, this is, so for anyone that has managed to survive 35 minutes of me babbling about comics, uh, you're going to get a little bit of a special end. Okay? And this one is a really cool comic. Okay. So this is uh, Boy Commandos number 24. And this is the very, very, very first parody comic, parody comic cover. Um, so it even says that first costume superhero satire cover, crazy quilt appearance. So uh, we got this kind of parody of Superman. And I, I don't know, it's like, so it's like, look, Rip, that is no bird. I wouldn't say it's a plane either. No, it's Brooklyn. <laughs> it's like, that's the name of the character. So it's kind of, you know, making fun of uh, Superman, that whole up, up, and up. <coughs> excuse me. Um, that, uh, you know, is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's, no, it's Superman. Um, it's kind of making fun of that. And uh, yeah, so this is, um, you know, Boy Commandos number 24. And originally he wanted like 200 bucks. I talked him down on the price. I got it for 150. So I thought that was a reasonable price. And that was shipped. Um, so yeah. So it's uh, Joe Simon and Jack Kirby cover and art. So that's kind of cool too. Really, Boy Commandos has some major key issues. Like number one has the first Liberty Bell. And this is the first parody. Uh, yeah. So it's kind of cool. So I, I really like this book. I like these kind of first historical kind of significant books. So um, I hope you enjoyed these books as much as I did. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the halfway mark because I still have another big box to go. <laughs> um, so this is part four. I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed it. Recommend you watch the other parts and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment, like, and all that stuff too. Okay, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.